Hi, Bill Knight with Right Angle. Today we're going to show you how we manufacture our laminate work surfaces. First, we're going to take you to the Aralco plant in Grayling, Michigan, where the particle board is manufactured and the laminate is applied. Then we're going to take you to our facility in Schofield, Wisconsin, where we cut the laminate to size and apply our edge banding. We actually get material two ways here in Grayling. We get logs and trucks. The logs will come in, it will go out back into our log yard, it will all be arranged. Hardwoods over here, softwoods over here. This is a log deck. It's gonna take those logs and just toss them around, trying to get all the bark off the log. The debark logs come in here, and they'll be processed and go into the chipper. So we look at the truck dumps over here, the trucks come in, they go to the guard shack, and they'll have to tell the guard if they have hardwood or softwood chips. Depending on what product they bring in, it will go down into a bunker, and it will get scalped out, so I'll take all the big limbs out of there, and I really am looking for a particle size of about that. The material will go up into one of these RMA buildings. That's a raw material aging building. The one that's farthest to the south is all softwood chips. The one farthest to the north is all hardwood chips. We are standing in the middle of the RMA building. The material comes through the roof and drops down in the center of the building onto an angle and it goes left or right. It's the same material. I have two screws down here that extend into the pile and it slowly pulls material out. Then it's gonna go through the different sorting processes, trying to sort out the more granular from the more chips. So when we looked at the chips in there and we could see the heavier granulated sawdust product, that's going up in the fine silo. So that will go through a sifting process. That's the flakes. That's gonna go into our flaker building. So it's gonna take this flake, all it's doing is going in a big wheel, it drops on there and just keeps flaking it off. And it's gonna keep shaving it down, just taking a little part off at a time. It's just looking to get this down, 0.06 millimeter, roughly about an inch and a half long fiber. It's taking it up in the silo. As it goes up the silo, it's going to be sorted again. So if it has to go to the hammer mills to get sized again, if not, the conveyor's going right up into the dryers. Right here, you got both your dryers going. 40 to 50% moisture coming out of the RMA building, two to six or seven percent when it comes out of this end. So that material's coming out of the dryer, going up here into the silo and going to the screener building. This is the screener room. So this is the last screening process. It gets over there and it's shaking and it's putting it through screens. The material falls through there and it gets screened out. So this is the first point where material is introduced into the building. As the material comes in the building, it's falling down through a dousing system. So it's spraying resin on the product as it falls. It will fall down into a dousing bin where the key is to get every side of that wood particle covered with resin. The material is being metered out into the former and it's dropping down through a set of screens to get the right particle sizes in the right areas. There's four sections of this former. So we have a bottom face. That will be the first layer that's getting laid on here. And you can see it's got all the finer grain material in it. Why is that important? Because if you have to sand it or if you router it, you want your tightest, finest materials here. Then we look in the middle here, there's two layers. This is a core layer, this is a core layer. It's essentially the same material. As the board progresses down the belt, you'll get down to the end of it. This is laying the top base on it. I'm taking the edges off. I am not wasting the material. I'm putting it right back into the beginning of the process. This is what we call the mat. We have our great con system. It's looking inside of the mat to see if there's any inconsistency. So if there's inconsistencies, we have another area where we can dump it into a hopper and reuse it. This is our pre-press here. So that blue belt has a series of pinholes in it. 
it gets narrower as the mat processes through there. What that pre-press is gonna do is push all the air out of it. If you look at our press here, you see the beige section. Each one of those has a different temperature, pressure, ratio. What we're looking to do is take that board and expand it, contract it, expand it, contract it. Why? We want the resin to set up evenly throughout the whole board. It's coming out of the press, so the board's hard now, right? It's all been pressed together. It's 170 feet long, so we have to cut it. This is what we call the flying saw. Cutting that master panel into workable size. That's cutting on a 30 degree angle approximately. Okay. It's cutting a 90 degree angle on the board. We have our gray con here that's looking at the internal quality of the board. If there are issues, we will hit this diverter gate and the panel will drop down there and go into our board breaker. It will chew the board up, send it in the airlocks out to the beginning of the process. If the board's good, it will go into our cooling wheels. So all we're trying to do is getting the temperature of the board down to a workable temperature before it gets stacked. Three master panels will go in here at a time. After three panels get in there, it will move one position clockwise until it hits this roller deck here right here. Once it hits this roller deck, it will move one position down to the second set of rollers. You're gonna go back in the wickets and go one position at a time, counterclockwise, until it hits the opposite roller deck again. When it hits the opposite roller deck, it's cooled down. The panels will come in, they'll fall into the stacker, and what I'm looking for is square bundles. So this booth is a sanding booth. You see some of our sanding belts there? Each one of these panels individually will get sent into our sander. The board will get stacked up and get transferred over to the saw line. So the saw line, I have the ability to take these panels and rip them or cross cut them. And when it gets done, it will be ready to be taken away and moved over to TFL. The paper goes through a quality check before it gets to us from our manufacturer. We have 10 different textures. You guys get Timberline. This is thermally fused, so it's fused thermally with the board. There is no stick. You will not remove it from the board. Cannot happen. In between the plate and the press platen is a press pad made of high temperature silicone infused with copper. Basically, it's a heat blanket. It absorbs the heat from the press, then transfers it to the plate in an even state. It allows us to do even heat distribution. That way you get a good consistent board. This board has now been manufactured, measured, tested, brought through the sander, quality checks, brought through the saw, quality checks, come to us, verified again. Once the Oralco team has completed the final check, the thermally fused laminate boards are packaged up and shipped to right angle. The laminate arrives in 5x12 sheets and are ready to be cut to size for each order. Our engineers will create a file that instructs our CNC router on how to cut the desired shape for the work surface and pre-drill holes for the base for easy assembly. We have standard shapes and sizes available but we also offer the option to work directly with our engineering team to design custom shapes and sizes. When the laminate is ready to be cut, it's placed on one of our two routers and cut using the automated program. Aside from cutting to size and shapes, the router will also cut out grommet holes. After the laminate work surface is cut to the desired size and shape, it's sent to have edge banding attached.
For most rectangular surfaces, we use our forever edge and apply it with our hot air edge banding machine. Unlike traditional edge banding that uses glue, Forever Edge is attached to the work surface using hot air technology. This eliminates the glue joint that easily capture and hold on to bacteria, dirt, and moisture. The result is a seamless, permanent, sleek work surface edge that is eco-friendly. Forever Edge is made of polypropylene and is fully recyclable, halogen-free, odorless, physiologically harmless, and burns clean. When applying edge banding to contour work surfaces, we have to use a different method. We use our contour edge bander. With this machine, we use our Flex Edge PVC that's attached with EVA glue. This gives a clean, continuous look. Once the edge banding is applied, we'll inspect the work surfaces for any flaws, wipe it down, package it, and it's ready to be shipped. If you have any questions on how it's made, please contact us at info at raproducts.com. And if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to stay up to date on all things office furniture. Thanks for watching.